after a restful night in Keuket and some great chocolate chip cookies, I am getting close to the Bunsby Islands. Uh, you gotta check this out. So there are the Bunsby's, the little islands in the foreground. But you can see back there, waiting for me, the Brooks Peninsula. That's still about 15 miles away. It's just massive. So beautiful out here right now. There are sea otters all over the place. It is amazing to watch them hang out in the kelp beds and just kind of squeak at each other and then kind of watch you and dive again. They're <laughs> really fun creatures. Looking at what the future holds. There's uh, Cape Cook and Solander Island behind me. Oh, this is incredible. I just came around the brooks. It was blowing pretty hard in the gap, but uh, it all worked out okay. Um, now, I'm, now I'm on this side of the peninsula. It's pretty awesome. Um, wow. Maybe my last sight on the west coast. Hey, I'm here at the entrance of San Joseph Bay, or para mi amigos on Tejas, San Joseph Bay. Uh, you know Enrique wouldn't let that slide. Anyway, um, as you can see, it's another beautiful day out. Today's forecast is rain, but with a light wind. It looks like things are adding up that I might be able to get around Cape Scott today. But here, take a look at the scenery. Well, I've made it to Cape Scott, just right there, and uh, I am just waiting for the tide to die down. The currents here are notoriously dangerous, so I have to go at the right time of the cycle, otherwise it could be bad. So right now, just a little snack in the rain and waiting to go around the Cape. This is the path to the lighthouse. Tis a wet place, this Cape Scott. Tis a wet place. <laughs> 